In a stunning turn of events, tech giant Apple Inc. has seen a jaw-dropping $200 billion vanish from its market value within a mere 48 hours, sending shockwaves through Wall Street. The unexpected plunge, fueled by concerns over slowing iPhone sales and global supply chain disruptions, has investors on edge and experts speculating about its potential ramifications on the cryptocurrency market, particularly Terra Luna Classic, as investors might seek alternative assets amid this market turmoil. As the world watches Apple's fiscal roller coaster, the fate of Terra Luna Classic hangs in the balance, poised for a potentially game-changing price shift. Welcome to Crypto Millionaire, your source for the latest content on crypto. Make sure to watch the entire video and hit the like button if you're interested in more insightful content. Disclaimer. Subscribe to my Telegram channel. There I post shocking crypto news daily. Link in the description. Apple, the tech behemoth, has witnessed a staggering $200 billion erosion in its market valuation over the past 48 hours, a downturn that can be attributed partly to China's decision to prohibit its government from utilizing iPhones. This stringent stance against Apple has sent shockwaves through the stock market, with Apple shares plummeting by 3.4% in a single day, marking the company's most substantial daily decline in over a month and relegating it to one of the poorest performers in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This downturn in Apple's fortunes takes on even greater significance when considering that China constitutes the largest foreign market for Apple's array of products. In the fiscal year prior, Chinese sales accounted for approximately a fifth of Apple's total revenue, underscoring the magnitude of this loss. China's motive behind this ban appears to be a fusion of national security and economic concerns as they aim to curtail the outflow of sensitive information beyond their borders, according to insights from Paul Henley, a former China director on the National Security Council. The repercussions of China's move were felt across the tech sector, with the Nasdaq Composite Index dipping by approximately 1% and the semiconductor industry experiencing a decline exceeding 2% on the back of this news. Given that a substantial portion of Apple's product assembly occurs in China, the company sustains millions of jobs within the nation through its contract manufacturers and suppliers. As a dominant player, particularly in the smartphone market, the ban is expected to translate into a colossal $200 billion loss in revenue for Apple. This seismic shift in Apple's fortunes could have a significant impact on the price dynamics of Terra Luna Classic, TLC, as investors seek alternative assets amidst this disruption in the tech landscape. Moving on, Terra Luna Classic proposal to revive USTC and Luency to $1. The Terra Luna Classic currently votes on a proposal by a developer to test market swap with a limiter by the L1 Terra Classic Task Force core development team. Lun C and USTC market swap function was disabled after the 2022 Terra Luna crisis and can help repeg USTC and revive Lun C price to $1. L1TF rejected the limiter function by the Quant USTC repeg team. Terra Luna. Classic community votes on key proposal. Proposal 11767. Test market swap with mint limiter is up for voting. It aims to make L1 TF test using the limiter in the market swap only, which will successfully reopen the lunch and USTC market swap. Terra Luna, Classic Community. Enabling the market swap function will significantly reduce Luency and USTC supply and help the community meet its vision of USTC repeg to $1 and Terra Luna Classic Revival to $1. The developer created the code and tested it in a test environment created by the L1 TF developer team. He believes that enabling the market swap through this method is expected to significantly increase Lun C burn rate. It will also help increase utility by creating pairs in TerraSwap or Astroport. Personally, I believe that with market swap, we burn billions of tokens a day. By voting yes for the test merge, the entire community has an opportunity to bring our ecosystem to life. Until now, the proposal has received 97% yes votes, as well as 1% abstain and some no and no with veto votes. Among nine validators who voted, four including Jesus is Lord and CoinPayu favor the proposal. While the community looks to approve the proposal, top validators are yet to vote on the proposal. 
LUNC price gave up earlier gains and currently trades at $0.00006, down nearly 7% in a week. The 24-hour low and high are $0.00006,01 and $0.00006,12 respectively. Meanwhile, USTC price trades at $0.012, falling below support in the last 24 hours. Moreover, the trading volume has decreased by 40% in the past 24 hours, indicating a lack of interest from traders. But don't be shocked, I have more to show you. Don't forget to subscribe, Machine Learning Algorithm sets Terra Classic price for September 30th, 2023. The value of Terra Classic, the original chain of the collapsed Terra ecosystem, continues to trade in the red as the token attempts to recover amidst the overall market's downward sentiment. Notably, the Luanxi community is implementing a series of initiatives that are touted to potentially impact the token's value. In this case, the future price projection of LUNTS remains a matter of interest within the community, given the sustained recovery efforts. Although the price of LUNTS remains uncertain, Finbold sought perspectives on its valuation by engaging PricePredictions.com, which uses machine learning algorithms to provide further insights into the potential price movement of Terra Classic at the end of September. According to the tool's predictions, LUNTS is expected to trade at $0.00006 on September 30, 2023, based on information retrieved on September 6. The projection suggests a continued correction in the token's value, with an estimated price decrease of approximately 0.6%. Notably, the projection paints a rather pessimistic picture for Luency, despite the token initially displaying bullish tendencies. Terra Classic experienced a brief surge in early July when Binance announced its support for the Terra network upgrade. Regarding network upgrades, the community is voting on a proposal for the V2. 2.1 Core Upgrade by the Developer, L1 Task Force This upgrade aims to introduce several key features, including a Cosmos SDK upgrade, a migration to Comet BFT for Tendermint, IBC Go to V6, and the implementation of changes previously approved through governance voting, such as splitting the burning tax to the distribution module. This upgrade is expected to have a significant impact on the future value of LUNTS. At the same time, the Terra Classic community passed a crucial proposal to implement dynamic minimum commissions for validators based on their voting power. This proposal aims to enhance decentralization and fortify the Terra Classic network against potential vulnerabilities. Furthermore, the community will rely on other initiatives, such as ongoing burning mechanisms, to enhance the network's utility. What do you think of it? What's your predictions? Leave your opinion in a comment section. Also, don't forget about Daily Giveaway, where you can win 50000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed, leave a like, and leave a comment, hash Terra Luna. Things are going to get real flashy.